Hi everyone, my name is Krista Rehm and I'm a Partner Solutions Engineer here at LinkedIn. And today I'm going to walk you through the deprecation of response decoration and how to handle this change. So specifically we'll go over what is response decoration and why is it going away? And then we'll actually go through some live examples utilizing our documentation and Postman of how you can handle this change and what changes will be required of you in your API requests. So first things first, what is response decoration? You may have heard this called response deco, deco, projection, API decoration. Ultimately, it's just a mechanism specific to LinkedIn APIs to fetch data belonging to an urn or a URN object without having to make an additional API call. So we have decided to deprecate API decoration as we found the syntax to not really be user-friendly. And if you utilize response deco, you'd probably agree that it can get pretty complex pretty quickly and has a pretty steep learning curve. So instead, we're going to enhance our API schemas with the fields that are most commonly queried in decoration requests. So through our analysis, if we found that decoration requests were not commonly used for a specific endpoint, then those enhanced schemas will not be included and an additional API call will be needed in order to get that additional detail. So the best way for you to stay up to date on these changes is by reviewing our recent changes page to know which APIs are impacted and in what version. And then of course, go to their respective API documentation. Don't worry, any links that I talk about today, I will be sure to link in the description of this YouTube video so you know exactly where to go. And just to repeat again, these are version changes. So the old way of API decoration will still be available in older versions. However, new versions will not support API decoration. So I'm going to start out in our documentation before we go see some live API calls in Postman. So I've talked about these enhanced schemas. Now something that we're adding is called additional info fields. We can see that here. Now specifically as an example, I'm going to focus on the add accounts API. As I said, each API as a best practice, when you're moving to a new version, you should review our recent changes pages and also the individual documentation right to understand what's changed. As an example, let's focus on the ad accounts endpoint. So starting November 2022, API decoration was deprecated for this endpoint. And the enhanced schema includes something called a reference info field. So this is an additional field that we have added to the schema, which provides additional information for the reference field. So just as an example, if let's see if there was another urn in here, let's call it organization. This is just totally as an example and we wanted to have additional information, we would have another field called organization info. So previously with response decoration, we would have decorated the reference field and internally LinkedIn would have made an API call to return that object, right? Because that's based on an urn. But now instead, we're just going to include this reference info field in our request and it's gonna return back some additional information for us. Now, if that's not enough, we always have the option to make an additional API call to get back the entire object schema that we're interested in. So let's go see this live in Postman. All right, so we're going to start with the ad accounts endpoint as our example. And then I'm also going to use the ad account users endpoint because starting at, I believe it was the December version, this no longer supports API decoration either. And we decided not to add any enhanced schema or the additional info fields because we really didn't see a theme or a common usage of API decoration. So that means that you as a developer are empowered and always empowered to make additional API calls to pull back the specific information that is most pertinent to you and your customers. So specifically, I'm gonna talk about ad accounts utilizing response deco, without response deco, and then making an individual API call. So I'm looking at the October version where API deco is still supported. I know I'm utilizing API decoration because I have the projection parameter and I have the tilde here. So that indicates to LinkedIn that I want to decorate, I want to expand the reference field, which if I were to run this, we see that reference field is an urn. And so behind the scenes, it is expanding that reference information and returning it back to us. Now in the new world, without response deco, remember we talked about the reference info, that's an additional info field. So it's gonna return us additional information about the reference field. And I'm utilizing something here called field projection. Ultimately, that just allows me to say, instead of getting back all the data and having to dig through it, just send me back the fields that are important to me. So I just want reference info back. And so it's just gonna give me that reference info field 
and we can see that it returns the organization object along with name, vanity name, localized name, and ID. So let's just add reference in here just to see, mimic ultimately what our previous call was. So here we can see it's pretty much the same, right? We have reference and we had a decorated reference. Now we have reference in our reference info object, that additional info field, we've enhanced the schema starting with the November 2022 version and beyond. Now let's say that this organization object that's returned and the reference info field just isn't enough. Maybe there's other fields in the organization object that are really important to you in your application and your users. So you are always empowered to make an additional API call. So we're gonna grab that organization ID and we're just going to paste that into our get organizations call. And then here we get back the full object schema so we can pull back any of the information that is important to our application and our users. And moving on to our last example here, add account users. So when we decided to deprecate API decoration for this specific endpoint, there wasn't enough usage or there wasn't really a common theme when it came to how API decoration was being utilized. So we decided not to include the additional info field. But don't fear, it's really easy to get that information. So here again is using a response deco information. This is a paginated response. And so we're pulling back the ad account information, the role, the user, and any change audit stamp. So this API gets back the ad accounts that the authenticated user has access to. And notice again, we're using response deco because we have the projection parameter and the tilde. So let's take a look at the response. It's giving back the role, the account, some expanded information because we're decorating it, and the user and the audit stamps. Now without deco, it's still pretty similar. We're gonna pull back the same fields, account, role, user, change audit stamps, but notice that it's not expanding account, right? Because we no longer have response decoration. So now you are empowered if you want, if you wanted to get back information about that ad account to simply just make a call to the ad accounts endpoint utilizing the ad account ID and to get back the specific information that you are interested in. So to recap, we talked about what response decoration is and why it's being deprecated. So when moving to a new version, always, always be sure to review our recent changes and then the API documentation for your specific endpoints that are being moved to a new specific version. We talked about in order to be able to prepare for this change, you can leverage additional info fields if that new endpoint supports it. Field projection, utilizing that field parameter, only return me the fields that I'm interested in. And then of course, always being empowered to make those additional API calls to get back the specific information that is most important to you and your users. Thanks so much for your time. Be sure to subscribe and review the description section to get all of the links for this topic today.